Hey guys, Daisy here. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I was with you all last. I've been super, super slammed, but I found some free time each week, so now I can and I will upload more often. Um, I haven't really found anything inspiring to review. I haven't really been sent anything worth reviewing. Um, but I thought that I would do a, a product update, so to speak. I know I've already reviewed these items, but I wanted to do an update, do a, 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 a hey, this is how it's working after so long type deal. So we're going to start with the iTaste Mini VV battery. Now we all know this variable voltage little pass through guy had a lot of issues with pulling apart up here, pulling apart down here, and the charging port blowed balls. <laughs> Just gonna come out and say it. It sucked. I don't know what they were thinking with the stupid pin charger. Well, apparently enough people complained, and I saw that Vapor Crave had a new upgraded version. So I grabbed it and checked it out. And now you can see it's got these little rivets here and here and here. And you can also see that down here it's got another little rivet. And the charging port, check this out, micro USB port now. Yay! Freaking finally! <laughs> and another thing they changed, this output is now blue instead of red. So that's really cool. The battery, the button still does the, you know, green, yellow, red deal. It still has the same amount of charge and it still works just as good as it did before, except for now it doesn't suck because it doesn't fall apart anymore. So that's handy. Um, still get... If you're a three mil a day user, you probably get most of the day out of it. If you use anything more than that, you're going to be taking advantage of this wonderful little pass-through function here. Still goes from 3.3 to 5.0, so that's so good. Um, it still performs really well with just about anything you throw on it. And yeah, that's pretty much it on this one. Um, the charging cord actually still looks the exact same as it did. The only difference is now it has the micro USB charging port. And I'm not going to sit here and put it up to the camera and see, oh, can you see that? Can you see that? No, because it never works. Anyways, next on the list is the Camry K100 mod. I'm still using this one with the hyper tank. And um, weird thing happened. Um, and it happens with the Pro Tank, Pro Tank 2, Pro Tank 3, hyper tank, any kind of full size atomizer that utilizes the 510 threading. Um, for some reason, when it's tightened completely down onto the K100 mod, it, you cannot pull through your atomizer at all. It's like sucking on a thinking brick. Um, and so my husband and I were talking and came up with the idea to drill a hole through it. Well, also, a little backstory, I had a lot of issues with it gurgling and leaking once it got down to about a third left of juice. Um, and so I was dealing with that. But went ahead and drilled a hole through the outer rim of the top of the K100 mod, through the hole, through into the threadings and through that, which helped a lot with airflow. So now I could actually tighten it down and get some airflow. It's still a little tight, but it could work, work with it. Well, then we decided to take the base here and drill a hole, which you obviously cannot see because this is a webcam. Um, but we drilled a, a bigger hole through the stem piece here, the threading, and that improved the airflow on this thing significantly. And, which I'm not entirely sure why it did this, but it almost eliminated any gurgling that I have once this gets down to about a third of juice left. I Again, I don't know how it fixed that. I don't know why it fixed that because I used to have it to where I had to have a spacer here to keep the atomizer backed off enough to actually get a pull through it. And so I'm still getting the same pull I was getting when I had it backed off. So why I'm not having the gurgling issues, not that I'm complaining, but why I'm not having the gurgling issues anymore, it doesn't make sense. But I've got this tightened all the way down now. Watch. You still get an awesome vape. You still get an awesome pull and it's tightened all the way down and it took not even five minutes to do two real quick holes in it and it didn't tamper with the performance it didn't tamper with any kind of electrical grounding anything like that it didn't mess with any wires or anything like that so it's not going to hurt your device to do it I've been vaping on this for 
close to two weeks now with the holes in it and I haven't had any problems at all whatsoever. Um, one more quick thing I wanted to add was a friend of mine came in and had some issues with his ProTank 3 with a lot of leaking. Uh, the coils that were coming with it, I don't know if they fixed it by now, but the coils that were coming with it looked like this, but they were dual coil and they did not have this stem on here. They, it stopped right at the top of the rubber grommet. Um, and he was out of coils and the only thing he had was one of these things laying around. And so what I did, because it, the, it's substantially taller than these ones are, um, and also I had replaced his top piece with this top piece here because for some reason without the stem it was having a lot of leaking issues. Put the stem on there, put the rubber grommet back on there, no more leaking. Well, he's out of coils, doesn't have money for new coils, so I took the rubber grommet off of this here, just took it off, and then I put it on his and just let it sit right above on top of the rubber grommet that was already on one of these. This is a T3 EVOD Pro Tank Mini Pro Tank coil, um, which is shorter than the Pro Tank 3 coil because these are not dual coils. But I took the rubber grommet and I slid it down on top to where it's just sitting on the rubber grommet. It's not overlapping, it's not surrounding, it's just sitting right on it. And that made it big enough to where it's not leaking, it vapes just fine. Yeah, it's not a dual coil, but it's getting him through until he can have money for more dual coil. Dual coil coils. <laughs> so if you run into that issue, you have a Pro Tank 3, you don't have money for coils, grab one of your old Pro Tank 2 coils, grab the rubber grommet, throw it on there, you're good to go until you got more money for more coils. So if you guys want any more tips or tricks or stuff like that, different things I might have found in my experiences of trying to fix stuff, let me know in the comments bar below. Um, if you have any things that you think I should review or check out or questions about current things I've already reviewed, again, comment section below. Be nice. God bless.